Coach Snedden says that regardless of their winning streak and Orange Empire Conference title, the team will be heading into the playoffs with the mentality that they will have to earn each win by playing hard or they risk the chance of going home. Celebrating their 84th season of basketball, the Harlem Globetrotters are bringing their 2010 World Tour to over 200 cities. And tonight, they're here at the Anaheim Honda Center. Let's check it out. It's halftime, and the Golden West College wrestlers are up 35-3. to If they win tonight, this will be their sixth win in a row and a chance for them to compete in the bowl. What do you guys play for? The Lakers! And who's your favorite basketball team? This is Francine Nguyen reporting with the Round and About Orange County News. After tonight's upsetting loss, the Dons are currently 0-2 in their division. This puts a lot of pressure for the Dons to win the next few games. This is Francine Nguyen reporting with the Round and About Orange County News. March Madness is here and the Sweet 16 is set. Many Orange County sports fans are trying to figure out where their brackets stand. But one thing is for sure, no one saw the following upsets coming. The wins and losses that ruined at least a third of everyone's brackets. It started with a 64-team battle in a single elimination tournament. No one would have foreseen top seed Kansas take the plunge to Northern Iowa, a highly unlikely team. Even President Obama picked Kansas as the team to win it all. It was a prediction that proved to just be that, a prediction when the Jayhawks took the early 2-0 lead and Kansas never saw the lead again. The final outcome, 69-67, the Jayhawks advanced to the Sweet 16 where they will face Michigan State. Fans from all around filled up the Honda Center to catch the Globetrotters' high-flying show. Everyone in the center wanted a glimpse of the famous athletes and entertainers including Big Easy Lofton and Flight Time Lane, stars of this past season's edition of the Emmy Award winning CBS reality hit, The Amazing Race. Well, we prepare by standing in front of the locker room talking to beautiful ladies on um, before each and every game. Great way it's to always practice. a good start. <laughs> um, actually, we arrived. To, we, use it, we use the play every single day, so we try to get to the gym a few hours before and work on some of the things that we need to work on, things we may not have executed the night before. So, I mean, Playing every day, you have a lot of opportunities to mess up, but you also have opportunities to come back the next day and do it again. Games like this are important to the Globetrotters, but what's even more important to the team is giving back to the community. Because, you know, it's all about the kids, you know, that's, what, that's who, who has next. So you always say we got next on the basketball court. The, the kids have next in the world, and they're very important. The Harlem Globetrotters sure made this a magical and unforgettable night for all the fans. Globetrotters are great. I wish I could be in one of them. Even Big Easy and Flight Time Lang had a favorite Globetrotter growing up and hoped to be just like him. My favorite Harlem Globetrotter growing up maybe um, probably was Curly Neal. Looks like the dream of becoming a Harlem Globetrotter can come true. This is Francine Nguyen reporting with the Round and About Orange County News. Every season, like with most college football teams, players come and go, leaving the starting positions open for an uncertain season. Uncertain due to the fact that coaches and their remaining players have to rebuild a team and start from scratch. The tent pole of this team is the defense. It's, it's a lot of big time, you know, big time division one type guys who, who really sold out in the offseason. The DBs are some of the best we've ever had here. The linebackers are some of the best we've ever had. Um, D-line, again, you know, right on par with anybody we've, we've had. So right now, I mean, rankings, you know, don't mean a ton, but we're ranked number two in the state defensively. Last season, the Dons finished the season as the 2008 Orange County Bowl champions with their starting quarterback, Michael Cutler, leading the way. With Cutler gone and a completely new team to work with, the Dons are working to defend their title, a feat not easily accomplished. Uh, it's really, it's, uh, it's a really fun position. You know, get to move the ball, run it, pass it. I mean, it's uh, a lot of film, a lot of studying, knowing what everybody else is doing so we can uh, successfully move the ball. Uh, I, see a, I see a great team out there, a lot of playmakers, and I think we can go far. I think, I think we can do it. Returning this season as the Orange County Bulls 2008 champions, will the Dons be able to defend their title like the New England Patriots did in 2004? Only time will tell as they start off this season undefeated. This is Francine Nguyen reporting with the Rounded About 
Orange County News. Oscar talk is still at the talk of Tinseltown. The main Oscar buzz is due to the history making that took place. Let's start with the big Oscar win of the night. Catherine Bigelow took home the Best Directing Oscar for her work on Hurt Locker. The story follows Staff Sergeant William James on his bomb defusing assignment during the Iraq War. Bigelow became the first female director to be awarded the Best Directing Oscar. Let's take it to Orange County where Harlem Globetrotter Big Easy took some time off his 2010 Magical Memories Tour with his team to visit the Discovery Science Center to speak with elementary students about high morals, healthy lifestyles, and his life as a Globetrotter. What's your name? Parker. Parker? How old are you? Parker is three years old, and for the day, he was the Harlem Globetrotter Big Easy's teammate when it came to teaching not elementary school students about good character, healthy lifestyles, and making good choices. Big Easy's real name is Nate Lofton. He's a fan favorite of The Amazing Race and is the current star of the 2010 Magical Memories World Tour with the Harlem Globetrotters. But today, Big Easy's court is a small stage at the Discovery Science Center. We had a great time today. I uh, taught him the character program, which will get you far in life, and taught him just to have fun, stay active, be physical fit, and just enjoy life at the fullest. Big Easy had a not so easy upbringing in a family of 13, raised by a loving, strong father who was rarely there due to long work hours. From New Orleans, Big Easy and his late father helped evacuate his family when Hurricane Katrina hit. So, something my, my dad taught me about just being a man in general that you, you know, don't try to take credit for stuff you're supposed to do. You're supposed to take care of your kids, you're supposed to take care of your family. You're supposed to be a nice person. Like that, that's come with us. You shouldn't want credit or a pat on the back for being nice. You know, you should be that. And he always told me, have fun, love and happiness, and be kind and patient with everyone. Now, did you guys have fun today? Yeah! And what do you guys have to say to Big Easy for coming out today? Thank you! This is Francine Nguyen reporting with the Roundabout Orange County News.